Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. Today we will show you guys how to remove and replace the seat switch on Mercedes E-Class from 2003 to 2009 model. That's the W211. That's the one that we're talking about right here. And uh, the one on the passenger side right there will be, uh, will be the same procedure as well. So stay with us, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, please subscribe, help us grow the channel together. Okay guys, so first, okay, we need to get a T20, Torx 20 bit, okay, this one right here. And we'll need to remove, okay, that screw right there. Okay, we'll need to pull the cover out. You can see how it goes out. Careful not to break those because usually they're very, very breakable. Okay, next with the prying tool, we'll need to remove that cover. Okay, you can see right there. Let me turn the light on so we can see a little bit better. Okay, this is the cover. Okay, next you need a view of screwdriver and there is one, one screw that you need to remove right there. Okay, and you can see the size of the screw now. Next, we need to go underneath right here and we need to remove that cover. Okay, you just pry it open, it has a few clips on it. Okay, let me get the light so we can see it better. Okay, so we have the two screws that we need to remove here. The same, few screwdriver now. That's what we've been working with. Okay, like that. Next we need to remove the cover for the mirror right here for the tweeter. So you just push it towards the back, comes out. Okay, that's the one. You don't even need to unhook the tweeter. Okay, so now with the prime tube, there is a few clips and a good thing guys, uh, before you start doing that, you probably should buy some replacement clips because those go bad usually. Sometimes they will break. Okay, you can see we pop them like that and then you need to lift up. We will need to unscrew, okay, this one, the unlock, you just unscrew it counterclockwise, okay, like that. And you need to come out of there, okay, sometimes they will be stuck really good, believe me. That's because it goes in the seal there. Okay, and you can see the panel came out, stay with us to show you where all the clips are. Okay, now we need to disconnect, okay, the cable right here. So you need to pull it over the back, go like that. And now you need to twist it in an angle, okay. And we'll need to disconnect all the wires now. Okay, so one person will need to hold the panel because those can go bad really, really easy. Okay, so press down and pull them out. Okay, let's see what else is holding there. Okay, this black one only. Okay right, guys, our clips didn't break, but sometimes they will and they're replaceable. We'll have the link on our website mechaniclifestyle.com. So you can see two clips there, one in the corner, three on the bottom, one in the corner, and one more there. Okay, so that's where the clips are, you know, where to apply more pressure. Okay right, guys, next we'll need eight millimeter socket. We have that carpet here, that insulation, and usually it's glued really good, but somebody messed with it in the past, okay? You need to make sure that you don't break your cables because they're very, very fragile. So careful how you pull that carpet out, out of there, okay? And we can get to the switch now. Okay, this is the switch for the power seat, so we'll go ahead and remove it in a second. So we need to disconnect this wire by pressing down on the notch and pull it out. 8 millimeter socket now. Okay, and we'll need to remove all these nuts. Okay, it's about to come out now. 
Okay, carefully and it's out of there now. So this is guys how you remove and replace the power seat switch on Mercedes E-Class W211. Thank you guys for watching. You install it in reverse order with two kit apart and see you guys next time.